and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today I have the best Christmas morning breakfast casserole ever. And it is so easy you guys and you can prepare it the night before. Yes friends, you can prepare it the night before. So once Santa comes and delivers all the gifts, all you have to do is pop it in the oven and warm it up and you are ready to go, okay? So here's what you need. You're gonna need eight large eggs, um, sausage of your choice. I just have some Tennessee Pride mild country sausage um, because that's just what we like. We usually either get the Tennessee Pride or the Jimmy Dean's, it's completely up to you. You need a cup of milk. Um, I think this is about two cups of shredded potatoes or hash browns and also two cups of mild cheddar cheese. This also goes well with sharp cheddar cheese, um, whatever cheese you like. Honestly, I, I have not I have not had any bad luck with any cheeses, so whatever cheese you like, go for that. I went for the mild cheddar cheese because it's a crowd pleaser. You know, everybody doesn't like um, sharp cheddar, so I try to get something that will um, please the masses, okay? And yeah, that's what you're going to need, so let's get started on this breakfast casserole, okay? Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to set your oven for 350 degrees, okay? And y'all bear with me. I already told y'all this is a new oven, so I'm still trying to figure it out. And set. Okay, so you want to set your oven at 350 degrees and have it um, preheating, okay? And then what you want to do is... Okay, the first thing that I usually do is I will get my hash browns going. Okay, so you do need to pre-cook your hash browns. So I'm going to go ahead and light this. So that we can start pre-cooking our hash browns. And honestly, I cook it until, you know, the bite is pretty much out of the potato. I don't cook it all the way in the pan. What I do is I cook it the majority of the way, probably about 70% of the way. And then I leave the rest because it is going in the oven and you and I both know that it will cook the rest of the way in the oven. So hopefully that made a little more sense than what I said before. Okay, and so I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil to the pan and you can use whatever oil you would like um, you can use olive oil you can use peanut oil whatever kind of oil you want to use is absolutely fine I'm going to use vegetable oil because that's what I have on hand I usually will use um, olive oil but I don't I've run out of olive oil so yeah so I'm just going to put a little bit in the pan. It's about that much. Yeah. Of oil in there. And let that start to heat up a little bit. And then while that is doing that, you guys, I usually take out a pan for my sausage because you are going to also cook that on the stove as well. Now, I know that there is a slow cooker version of this. I've never tried it in the slow cooker, um, but I'm sure it's probably just as good. I generally just do it on the stove because it honestly takes no time at all. Okay? And so I'm just going to you know, get that all going. Turn it down just a little bit. You guys know with gas stoves, it just doesn't take as long. Okay, so I'm going to take the potatoes. And I'm going to put them all in here. Hopefully everything won't... Yeah. Hmm. 
Yep, and that's what you want. You want that sizzle. And that beef is just telling me that my oven is all preheated and ready to go. And I usually just flatten it. I'm going to give it a little salt and pepper. Yep, and give it a little salt. Not too much because you guys know the sausage is definitely going to give off some salt. And then I'm also going to give it some pepper. And so you can season it however you like. It is definitely seasoned to taste. Okay. And then guys, I am just going to cover that up. And just let it do its thing. Okay. So you can just let it do its thing and... It will be just fine. And in the meantime, while that's cooking, I usually get my sausage going. Okay. Okay, so guys, while the potatoes are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to get started on the sausage. Uh oh, one, one. Okay. Okay, because this recipe does call for you to pre-cook the sausage and the potatoes now there are so many variations to breakfast casseroles some of them have biscuits some of them don't have biscuits some of them have potatoes some of them don't have potatoes honestly it is it's whatever you want to make it because the common denominator is that most of them will have egg and cheese if you are more of a biscuit family, you can make it with biscuits. If you are more of a hash brown family, you can make it with hash browns. The sky is the limit. So, do you, boo. Okay, so now I'm going to add the sausage in here. Shrink it all out. I'm going to break that up. And just let it do its thing. Now here's where you can add any vegetables that you would like to add to your breakfast casserole. If you want to add onions or green pepper or tomatoes, anything, whatever you would like to add. Now you can go ahead, well I wouldn't add, if you're going to add spinach or anything like that, I wouldn't add that at this point. But definitely if you're doing onions or green peppers or any type of peppers at all, I would add them at this point so that they can start. To soften up okay so yes I would do that and generally I would add onions I don't have any onions in the house right now y'all already know my situation so I have not um, stocked the refrigerator 
as I would like to quite yet, but it's coming. So what I would do is, if you're like me and you kind of like a little bit of onion flavor, what I'm going to do when it's time for the eggs is that I will add a little bit of onion powder. So that's also an option if you would just like some onion flavor. This is what my hash browns are looking like. As you guys can see, some of it has gotten brown and crispy and delicious. And then others, it hasn't browned all the way. And that is completely fine. What you're trying to do is, you're just trying to take the bite out of it. Because it will continue to cook in the oven. Okay? So you can turn the heat off of this. It is ready to go. Okay. Now what you want to do is, you want to take those eight eggs and you want to go ahead and crack them because this is going to be, you know, this is the base of your whole casserole. Okay? So, yes, there are eight large eggs. And guys, this will feed, hmm, how many will this feed? Well, we are a family of four, so usually this will feed us and we'll have leftovers. So I want to say it's six to eight servings. And, you know, they're, depending on how you, you cut it and how much folks want to eat, this will, you know, feed a crowd. And this is why I cho choose this for Christmas morning, New Year's. I mean, it has really turned into one of my family's favorite breakfasts and we'll usually do them with cinnamon rolls maybe you have a very good biscuit recipe that you like to do on Christmas morning you know whatever it is that you do this will go very well with it okay okay so I got my eight eggs and then what I will usually add to that is you guys I don't I try not to do a whole lot of salt even though I put a little bit in the potatoes I like this um, Badia Complete Seasoning. I put this on everything, okay, because it is a really good seasoning. So I usually will put some of that in, and this is where you can be as creative as you want to. Whatever spices you like, add those, okay? And remember I told you guys when I don't have um, fresh onion, I will do this onion powder. Again, I love the Badia brand, and I'm going to put some onion powder in it as well. If you don't like onions, definitely skip this part and put in what you do like, okay? And to that, I'm going to add one cup of milk, okay? Skim milk, whole milk. I am using 2% milk, but any milk will do. Um, I do recommend either whole milk or 2%, but if, if you only do skim milk or if you do... Um, almond milk. I've never tried it with almond milk, but you know, that may be something that you want to look into to see if it will go well with almond milk. I'm not sure, but again, I am using 2% milk and I'm just going to whisk it. Okay. I don't overly whisk. I honestly just do it enough to incorporate all the eggs and the milk together. Okay. So that I don't see a whole lot of yolk. Okay. Because you want it to come out as light and fluffy as possible. So you don't want to overly you don't want to overbeat it, okay? So you are done with that. And guys, this is really the easy part at this point. <laughs> this is where we're gonna just kind of put it all together. Okay, so here's my pan. And what I'm going to do is, the first thing you want to add are the hash browns. So here are the hash browns that we made, still smoking from the stove. You want to put a layer of hash browns in the bottom. And you just want to spread them evenly in your pan, okay? This, this is like, I mean, folks, the hard part is done already. Let me tell you, it, it really doesn't get any easier than this. You can honestly do this and make your biscuits and hash browns or whatever else you're going to have at the same time, okay? And then, guys, here is my sausage right here. 
again, you know, I'm just using the pork sausage. If you don't do pork, you can do turkey, you can do whatever. And you'll notice, and I don't know if the camera's picking up, but there is still a little pink on the sausage. That's absolutely fine. Um, you may choose to drain it at this point. I don't drain it, y'all, because honestly, I want a little bit of that fat in there, if that makes sense, because it just brings out more flavor. So I'm just going to add that. And again, you just want to put it in there and you want to spread it evenly on your casserole. Okay? Again, you know, your five-year-old can probably do this at this point, okay? So I just try to spread it evenly because you want every bite of your casserole to be delicious. You want it to have potato, you want it to have egg, you want it to have everything in there. And now would be, if you're gonna add, um, spinach or anything like that I will add that now I will put that on top I'm not gonna be adding it to mine but you guys this casserole will stand up to whatever vegetables and goodies you want to add to it okay and then that mixture that we just did we are gonna put that on top well you know what I usually do I'll show you guys what I usually do so here's the cheese and of course I've already washed my hands that you know, that goes without saying in my kitchen. Before I even start cooking anything, I wash my hands. So I usually will put a layer of cheese right here. Okay? And then I will add my mixture. You know, and you just want to, it will, it will spread evenly, but you just want to make sure you get, you know, every part of it. It will kind of level itself out, so don't worry. Okay. okay. And then usually I'll give it like a, just a little wiggle just to make sure it has evenly distributed across everything. And then guys, I pile on more cheese, okay? Again, it is, it is uh, according to what you like. We like it cheesy. If you don't, then I would have stopped. I would stop with the first layer of cheese that I put on there. But oh no, we definitely love cheese in this house. And we are equal opportunity pretty much when it comes to cheese. Um, so yeah, we are cheese people, okay? And so, yes, that is that. And then guys, this is gonna go into your preheated 350 degree oven uncovered for about 25 to 35 minutes and I'm sorry my my stove tells you to close the door honey so 25 to 35 minutes it just depends on your oven um, I do have a gas oven so in 30 minutes it will be done okay and in about a half hour you are gonna have the best breakfast casserole In my hand And the boys are lining up For my kisses are for one Special guy He's a dream though Of a man My own sweet buttercup I'll be so revved up By his praise that is it that's it 30 minutes it is bubbly it is cheesy it is fabulous and it is ready for you and your friends and family to enjoy it 
so that that's really it y'all i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you're new here my name's felicia also known as miss fee marie and i would love to have you stay and subscribe and become a member of the fee marie family and to the family hey y'all hey thank you guys for joining me for day five of the 12 days of craftmas i will be back tomorrow to share a beverage with you guys that will go perfectly with this breakfast casserole so do not miss it thank you guys again for watching i'll see you in my next one bye y'all